Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and this week I'm going to show you how to make this cool psychedelic stripe pattern in Procreate. We don't need to do any drawing to make this pattern, we're going to make it all with simple filled shapes, a bit of maths and the liquify tool. I'm going to call this an intermediate level tutorial. If you know how repeat patterns work and are familiar with things like snapping, transforming and the liquify tool in Procreate, this should be an easy tutorial to follow along with. But if you're new to patterns or new to Procreate, you might find it a bit trickier, but you should be able to follow along step by step and have an almost identical pattern to me at the end if you follow the steps really carefully. I'm going to put all the measurements and dimensions in the description and if you want to use the exact same colour palette that I'm using you can get that in the pattern makers toolkit over on my website. So let's get started with this one. I'm going to use a 12 inch or 3600 pixel square canvas at 300 dpi in sRGB. I've got a preset for that there, if you don't have a preset on yours you can create a new canvas here with those settings. I'm going to tap on this one that I have and I'm going to use this palette here called the checkers palette which is one I've used before. So I'm going to create my first stripe with this orange here. So I'm going to tap and fill this layer, tap to transform, tap on one of these nodes. I've got my interpolation method set to bicubic. I'm going to uncheck this ratio here and I want to leave the width at 3600 pixels and I'm going to change the height to 600. So now we've got this stripe here which is 600 pixels high and 3600 pixels wide. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer, I'm going to alpha lock it, I'm going to tap to transform and you need to have magnetics and snapping turned on and distance and velocity all the way up to the top and then I'm going to drag it down and snap it to the bottom of that stripe. I'm going to fill it with this colour here. Then I'm going to duplicate, tap to transform again and snap this one to the bottom of that stripe and fill that with the next colour down. Duplicate that layer again, tap to transform, snap this one to there which should also be the halfway point on your canvas, you should see orange lines here for this one. We'll fill this with the next colour. Duplicate this layer, tap to transform, snap it to the bottom there, fill this one with the pink colour. Duplicate, tap to transform and snap this one to the bottom there. And then fill that with this colour there. And then I'm going to swipe right on all of these and group those together. So now what I want to do is create some gaps in between these, so I'm going to add a layer in here choose a contrasting colour, which I'm also actually going to set this for the background colour. So we'll make the background colour this cream colour and I'm going to fill this new layer with the cream colour too. Then I'm going to tap to transform, tap up here and I'm going to tap here to unlink these two. I want to keep the width at 3600 pixels and the height I want to be 100 pixels. And I'm going to snap this to this line here so I want it to not snap to the edge of those, I want to snap the middle of this to the edge of those so you should see a blue line going across this one and then an orange line down the edge there. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer and do the same in between all of these gaps. So we want to snap it in the middle so we have a blue line going through the middle like that. And then for the top and bottom, this gap needs to be half that size so that when they match up, it's the full width. So I'm going to snap this one to the bottom edge there. So what you want to see is an orange line down the edge and that blue line to show you're snapping that half of that to the bottom of the canvas. And then this layer here, I'm going to duplicate that and then I'm going to snap that to the top of the canvas. So tap to transform and we'll snap that to the top of the canvas like that. So we've got a 100 pixel gap between each of those and then when these parts line up these two 50 pixels will line up to make a stripe the same size as those. So now I'm going to pinch all of these thin stripes together and I'm going to duplicate this group. I'm going to hide this one so we've got one with layers intact and then I'm going to pinch all of these coloured layers together. So then I'm going to flatten this group, 
tap to transform and I want more repeats of this on the canvas so we're going to drag this up and snap it to the middle there and that will say 1800 pixels then we can duplicate this and drag a copy over to the side there zoom in and make sure that they're lined up in the middle there pinch those together duplicate tap to transform and drag that down to the bottom there so this is the stripe that we're going to be working with and transforming now and liquefying so we'll tap on our adjustments go to liquefy so i'm going to use the twirl tool to get these waves in here because they're a bit more even and a bit more uniform you can also use the push tool but i'd recommend keeping it smaller so that you don't disturb the edge pixels with the twirl tool it's easier to keep your transformations just in the middle if you do have a go with the push tool just remember to keep your edges intact and not transform too close to the edge so i'll reset that go to twirl right and i've got my size up at maximum and i'm just going to gently rotate that in the middle there then i'm going to duplicate this layer tap to transform snap half of it over to this edge and half of it over to that edge pinch those together zoom into the middle to make sure that that's all lining up properly go to our liquify tool again and i'm gonna just rotate that a little bit more in the middle there and you can see you still get a nice wavy effect with the twirl tools it's not as it's a bit more uniform than using the push and like i said you have a bit more control over it so that's a wave going through the middle now we want to put a wave top and bottom so to do that we're going to bring this edge down to there and that edge up to there so duplicate tap to transform snap one down to the bottom duplicate and snap one up to the top then we can pinch those together go to our liquify tool and i'm going to give that a little rotate in the middle and then we just bring these ones into the middle and then that will be all of our flat stripes twirled out so this is the last one here as you go always zoom into the middle and make sure that those are lining up straight so let me go to the liquify tool and just give that one last wiggle in the middle so that's now our fully seamless wavy tile let's have a look at how this is looking in repeat so i'm gonna duplicate this layer we'll keep this one as a copy and tap up here to transform snap this up to the middle and then bring this into the edges of the canvas like we have done before snapping it into the corners there and then you can zoom in and make sure that all your seams are lined up nicely if you find that you've got bits that don't quite match up that may be because you've been using this liquify tool too close to the edges or maybe not snapping it perfectly into place so always pan along these edges and make sure that that's fully seamless before you export your tile what I want to show you is how to get that cool shadowy two-tone effect so I'm gonna pinch that one together and hide this one and we'll go back to this one here and we'll turn both of these layers off for the moment I'm gonna add a layer on top here and I'm just gonna fill the layer with black and with this where we've been offsetting it from the outside into the middle what I want to do is offset it again but just by 100 pixels so I want to shift it a tiny bit this way and a tiny bit that way I'll show you how to do that so with this black layer tap to transform unlink the ratio and we want it to be 100 pixels wide and 3600 pixels high and then we're going to use this to snap our pattern tile to this edge here so turn this layer on and we're going to duplicate it and what i'll do is hide this bottom one so we can see what's happening and i'll bring this black layer underneath i'm going to tap to transform on this one we want to work with and i'm going to snap it to the top of the canvas and this 100 pixel edge there and have I hide that you'll see we've shifted this across 100 pixels so this is the edge of our canvas so we can turn this one on again duplicate this bottom layer I'll hide the the base layer that we're working with and then this one here tap to transform and then we can snap this edge I zoom in here we can snap the edge of this to there 
zoom in to make sure that we've got a nice straight smooth line there nothing's looking off so now what we've done is moved the edges of our pattern tile like pinch this one and this one together and then turn the one on underneath you'll see we've just shifted it across 100 pixels that way next thing i want to do is shift it down 100 pixels so let's show our 100 pixel marker again tap to transform on this rotate it 45 degrees twice and snap it to the top of the canvas then we're going to turn on the one that we've already offset to the right slightly and we're going to duplicate this one then i'm going to hide the original of that i've got this on show underneath there tap to transform and we're going to zoom in here and snap it to the bottom of this box there so it's snapped against the edge of the canvas we can see the orange line there and you can see the blue line where it's snapped to the bottom of that box so then if we hide that you can see we've got this brought down 100 pixels and then this one here which was the one we duplicated from we can tap to transform on that and we're going to snap the edge of this to the edge of that up there i hope you're following along with this so we've got an orange line there because it's snapped to the edge of the canvas and a blue line because we're snapping it to this and then you can see we've got that nice and seamless there there's no kind of jarring edge there it's all nice and seamless on the edge so what do we have now if i pinch these two together and we've got one on the bottom which was the original one that we made and then on top we've got this other one which is just shifted slightly down and to the left so now i'm going to tap on this layer and tap invert and that's going to invert the colors and then i'm going to change the blend mode to screen and magic happens and we get these lovely variations in colors there so this is our new pattern tile let's put this into repeat so we can swipe down with three fingers tap copy all come up to the top here and tap paste and we'll see how this is looking in repeat now so i'm just duplicating and snapping this into each of the corners pinch these together i'm going to hide everything else change my background color to black so that we can just check that there's no gaps in there and that's all fully seamless now so that is our finished repeating pattern i hope you had fun watching this and it's given you lots of ideas for using the liquify tool in your repeat patterns and also inverting layers and using different blend modes to come up with these the offset trick is a really cool one to use in your patterns as well if you need to shift things slightly up and down if you've had fun watching this, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube for pattern tutorials like this every week. And if you want to see more in-depth courses from me, you can find those over on Skillshare. If you're not a Skillshare member already and you sign up using the link below, you'll get 30 days for free. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time.